Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and I'm going to talk about the Juki TL18 QVP, a real workhorse machine. And today we're going to talk about the parts of the machine. First of all, over here, we have where you plug in your power cord and your foot control. And then over here we have the hand wheel and you turn your hand wheel if you're going to hand walk and a stitch, you turn it always counterclockwise or towards you. Up here we have the bobbin winder and the bobbin winder lever to get it going and then when it stops it pushes it back like that. Over here we have the micro lifter. Now this is a special thing to help the foot float like if you're doing free motion quilting and you want to have a little more distance between your foot and the um, the thick batting so you can adjust that with this here. Here we have the thread tree and when you're not using your machine you push that all the way down. When you do use your machine make sure you have this all the way up. Now here we have two thread spools. Um, on this side we have a uh, spool holder for these larger spools. You can put that on there and you can get a lot of thread on in your project. If you're just using a smaller spool, you can use the spool pin without the um, spool holder. And then over here we have a guide for winding the bobbin. Notice it's on a spring and that helps put a little bit of tension on your bobbin as you're winding. Now this is kind of similar to this but a little bit different. This is your presser foot pressure. When you tighten this down, it's going to show in this window and it's going to make it, the presser foot actually push tighter on your fabric. When you lift this up to the highest level, it pushes less tightly on your fabric. And what you might want to use this for is if you're sewing something like a knit that doesn't have good stretch recovery, then you want to loosen this um, to help your uh, knit lay flat after you've uh, sewn a seam. Most of the time we want to keep it right there in the middle. And then these here are the threading guides. This is the pretension disc. And as we get into threading, I'll show you uh, how all this is threaded. This is your th uh, upper thread tension. So you would make it tighter or looser. And there's a little guide up here at the top to show that. This is your take up lever. I like to tell people a take up lever takes up the slack as the machine makes each stitch. So the thread has to go down, go around the bobbin, and then the take up, up lever takes up that slack. Here we have the threader lever, which is a really cool feature on this machine that this will thread your needle for you. You don't have to lick and stick. You can actually just put the thread in the right place and it threads the needle for you. Here we have, of course, the business end of the machine, which is the needle. And you have the needle clamp, a needle clamp screw right there. And then here is a um, thumb, uh, thumb screw for changing your foot. There are different feet that come with your machine. Now this machine will only sew straight, but you can have like a quarter inch guide or you can take this off completely and have a, uh, like your free motion. Um, feature. Over here we have a little door where you can take out your bobbin. Put your bobbin back in there. Close that up like that. And then of course back here we have the presser foot lifter. On the side here you have a thread cutter so you can cut your thread this way. Of course you can always pick up your scissors. Over here we have a thread cutter button. So if you push this it will no, this one here, sorry, wrong one. That will actually cut your thread. So you've got different ways of actually cutting your thread. Um, this one here that I was showing you, this is needle down, needle up. So um, if you wanted to take individual stitches, you could do that. Or if you, uh, say you turned a corner or something like that, ended up with needle down, you could push a button, make needle come up. Here we have stitch length. Now this machine will make nice long basting stitches um, or it can make really short ones or you can actually just stitch in place. For regular sewing, I like to have my stitch length right between two and three. That's a normal garment stitch length. 
This is your reverse lever. Push this down, and your uh, fabric will, your machine will stitch in reverse to kind of lock the ends of your seam. This is a wonderful feature here. I love this because this is your speed slider. It's going to limit the maximum speed that you can sew. So if you're free motion quilting, you don't want to have to be going faster and slower with your foot control. You can actually slow things down, keep your foot all the way down on the, on the pedal, and then just use your hands to guide and determine the speed that you're going. However, if you want to go jackrabbit fast, there you go. You can go really fast with this machine. This is your feed dog lowering lever. So you notice over here when I push this to the right, the feed dogs go down. Now when I push it back to come up, they don't come up until you take one stitch and then they re-engage. And then over here, this is a socket for your knee lifter. So the knee lifter is an accessory, comes with, goes like that. And when you push this with your knee, it will raise and lower your presser foot. So that way, it's a sort of a hands-free thing. And of course, you can always use this, but you see I had to use my hand to do that. With your knee lifter, you can actually make your presser foot go down with a knee lifter. And of course, you don't always have to use that. You can or not. You could put it off to the side if you're not using it. Um, that's the basic uh, parts of the machine, and um, I hope you'll stay tuned for our future videos. We've got other videos on how to use the machine. Uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.